Thank you, Anthony. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this week's NASCAR CAM video teleconference in advance of this weekend's events at Richmond International Raceway. Joining us is Clint Boyer. He's the driver of the number 33 BB and T Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. He's currently 11th in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series standings, and he's a Richmond winner. He's won the Cup event in the spring of 2008. Clint also will compete for RCR in Friday's NASCAR Nationwide Series Bubba Burger 250. He won the Nationwide event there at Richmond in the spring of 2007. Clint, welcome. Ah, thanks for having me. I know you love Richmond International Ra Raceway, and it's a track so many drivers anticipate. Yeah, Richmond's just the perfect racetrack, in my opinion. You know, it's just big enough that uh, you know our fans sitting in the stands can can get that sensation of speed, and even us as race car drivers. But it's short enough; you still beat and bang on each other, root and gouge, and that's what everybody likes to see. So uh, I just feel like they did their homework when they built Richmond. It's just the perfect size of racetrack. Sam, Phil, we have a quick question from a fan for you before we turn it over to the media. This comes to us from Matt in Tennessee. And he wants to know what the biggest difference has been for RCR these past six months. Well, I think the biggest, uh, you know, change at RCR is, well, there's a lot of changes, actually, but uh, just, just hard work and uh, working together. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is teamwork is in any organization, doesn't matter what you do. Uh, I, I feel like we've really, you know, moving down to three teams at RCR really forced us to work together as a group. Um, you know, I, I feel like we're as strong as we've ever been. Engineering department stepped up in a big way. Uh, engines have stepped up. Just everybody at RCR across the board has, has really stepped up. Simulation, um, we, we purchased a simulation program over the off season and really, uh, you know, enhanced us as, as far as uh, that side of things go as well. So, um, you know, really proud to be sitting where we're sitting. All three cars are in the chase so far. You know, and uh, uh, long ways to go. Um, summer's uh, getting into the summer grind here, and, and uh, we just got to make sure that uh, we take care of business. Uh, seems like everybody in, in NASCAR has had their share of some bad luck, and I think that's why uh, the competition's as close as it is right now, as points wise goes. Uh, you know, one bad race can throw you out of this thing or put you, uh, you know, into the thing. So just got to make sure that we're, we're solid here these next few weeks and then, you know, the upcoming months. and. You know, I don't want to be in a situation going into Richmond uh, the second time where we have to, uh, you know, really make sure that, um, you know, we're solidly in the thing and don't have to race our way in. Good stuff. Let's go straight to some media questions for Clint Boyer. Thank you. The floor is now open for questions. If you have a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad at this time. If you're using the speakerphone, ask them while posing your question, you can put your hands up by favorable time clock. Anytime a question has been answered, you can move yourself from the queue by pressing 1. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question, please press the star one or telephone key at this time. Our first question comes from Kerry Murphy, the final left. Sir, you may ask your question. Hey, Clint, uh, thanks so much for being on with us today. Um, no problem. you got to be pretty happy that uh, you, you actually survived and got through Talladega unscathed. You got a top ten. Uh, is, does, does that help you going into Richmond and, and give you a sigh of relief? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, as I said just a little bit ago, uh, every, it seems like everybody's had their, their share of bad luck this season. Um, you know, we've, we've been solid and we're, our cars are running good. But, uh, you know, we blew up on lap 50 at Bristol, got a setback, and then we had a flat tire there and got caught up in the wreck. Um, deep into the race at Texas and had a bad finish and, and those two finishes you know um, set us back a lot farther than we, we needed to be in the points so kind of uh, tiptoeing a little bit making sure that we take care of business Talladega had to ride in the back all day it, it was not much fun doing that as a race car driver you want to be up leading every lap and, and contending you know every lap uh, um, you know riding in the back it's, it's not much fun but it seems like that's what you got to do anymore to get yourself a good finish Next question comes from Mike Hembry from speedtv.com. Sir, you may ask your question. That's the, uh, the win by Kevin at Talladega. Um, obviously, that ended a long losing streak for, for the team. How does that uh, connect the rest of you guys? Is it a significant boost uh, for all the teams at RCR? Well, I think it always is, um, you know, across the board. Um, you know, whether it be you as a race team that won the race, 
um, you know, or, or the other team that didn't, you know, like our our team with the 33 Cheerios Hamburger Helper Chevrolet, we uh, we watch them win. We know our cars are capable of winning. That lights a fire under our team just as much as it does anybody else. So, um, you know, that confidence, that momentum, everything that a win brings to an organization and a race team uh, is everything. And, and, you know, we need to build from that and, and feed off of it and, and keep going. Our next question comes from Bob Pockers from Steam Daily. Sir, you may ask your question. Yeah, Clint, I was wondering, um, going into Richmond, since it is the last race before the chase, uh, the next time you go back, do, you, do teams do more testing there of uh, different things, or do you uh, not do a lot of testing, just uh, concentrate on having a good finish so you have confidence when you go back there um, in September? You know, Bob, I think every race, as competitive as this sport is anymore, every race is equally important. Um, you know, this first race, getting out of here with a good good run, uh, a win, uh, is every bit as important as, as that second race in Richmond. Because if you get out of here with a win and, and you know, string together a, a, a string of top tens and top five runs, you're not going to have to worry about that second race. So, you know, we definitely uh, just got to get there and take care of business each and every week. And if we do that doesn't matter if it's the first race or the, or the second race, you're going to be fine. And I also want to ask you about doing the two races at Talladega. Um, running around in the back for a while during uh, the cup race, did that kind of, did that help you kind of mentally just be able to be in good condition for the nationwide race or think it, you can, 800 miles, no big deal at Talladega? It, yeah, you know, really, I didn't even, wasn't even thinking about the nationwide race. Um, that's that's just kind of an extra bonus as a race car driver to get to run that. But uh, you know, right now all focus is on the the number 33 car and, and, and making sure that uh, you know a we get this thing in the chase and, and b you know first and foremost win a race. You know, it's time that we need to win a race and prove that we can still do this. And uh, you know, me as a, as a driver, I got to do that. So uh, hopefully, you know, the thought process going into that race was just just you, you know getting to the end of it making sure that I have the fenders on it and making sure that I give myself and my race team at least an opportunity to try to win the race it, like I said it seems like that's what you have to do anymore to get through to survive the storm you gotta you know to get to the end of it you gotta lag back and, and be bored most of the day and wait for you know 40 50 laps to go and and uh, you know go like hell and hope hope that everything works out